And now, onto our dinosaur of the day, Wagerosuchus, which was a request from Tyrant King via our Patreon and Discord, so thanks. It was a tetanurin theropod that lived in the late Cretaceous in what is now New South Wales in Australia, found in the Grimmon Creek Formation. It's a dubious genus. We actually only know it from one tailbone or caudal vertebra that's near the end of the tail. So it's really hard to know what it looks like because we only know that one tailbone. One <laughs> tailbone. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you said it's dubious, which means people aren't using the name anymore. But as a theropod, it would have walked on two legs, had a long tail, sharp teeth. The tailbone's a good size. It's about two and a half inches or 6.4 centimeters long. And what's really cool about it is that it's opalized. Oh, so we're talking about Australia. Yeah, New South Wales. I totally missed that. <laughs> <laughs> the fossil was found in 1905 by... Tully Cornwait Wollaston, an opal dealer in Lightning Ridge near Walgett in New South Wales, Australia. I had no idea they found opalized fossils over a hundred years ago. Yeah. Huh. Lightning Ridge is the place to be for opal fossils. Yeah. Cool. It got briefly described this fossil in 1910 by Arthur Woodward after the fossil was sent to the British Museum of Natural History. And then it was named in 1932 by Friedrich von Huene. The type and only species is Walgetosuchus woodwardi. The genus name means Walget crocodile. Again, where it was found. And the species name is in honor of Woodward. Von Huhn thought that it was a Silurosaur. In 1990, Ralph Molnar found that the fossil couldn't be distinguished from tailbones in ornithomimids or megaraptorids. So they thought it was an indeterminate theropod and a nomundubium. So it's been a nomundubium for a while. Yes. Well, not quite as long as we've known about the fossil. <laughs> yeah, it's getting closer. Yeah. It could be synonymous or the same as Repator, which was a theropod that lived around the same time and place that von Huhn also named in 1932, based on a fossil that's an opalized left hand bone. But we don't know for sure if they're the same dinosaur because you can't compare a hand bone and a tail bone and no. say this is the same. <laughs> it's cool that they're both opal. Yeah. Walgetosuchus, if you consider it to be valid, lived near the coast. Well, I guess even if you didn't, it lived near the coast by freshwater lagoons, whatever this dinosaur was. Yes. And other dinosaurs that lived around the same time and place include the Iguanodontian, Fostoria, also known from opalized bones. Yeah, and that one's still valid, right? Yes. The ornithopod Weewarasaurus, another opal dinosaur. As well as ankylosaurs and antiornithines, megaraptors, and sauropods, and other animals that lived around the same time and place include crocodiliforms, mammals, fish, pterosaurs, and turtles. And you could probably guess by all this talk about opals, but the formation where the dinosaur was found has a lot of opal. Yes. That's the whole reason people find fossils there, because they're looking for opals. Mm. <laughs> well, some people are now looking for fossils there, probably. Maybe. And then if you find an opalized fossil, that's just the best. Yes. At least according to us. Yes. <laughs> just got to notice it before you grind it down and turn it into jewelry. Hmm. <laughs> For those of you who listen to our Dinosaur of the Day segment and you like it, please consider becoming a patron. We take new Dinosaur of the Day requests from our patrons and offer a bunch of other perks as well. So check out our page at patreon.com slash I know Dino or click the link on the left.